Hello, my name is Valentin Fuhrmann from the University Medical Center Hamburg Eppendorf in Germany. I'm happy to talk about um, the recent published paper Statin therapy is associated with reduced incidence of hypoxic hepatitis in critical ill patients. Uh, hypoxic liver injury is one of the most common hepatic impairments in critical illness. Its incidence is about 10% in med critical ill medical patients and um, is it associated with dramatically increased mortality rates up to 60% following uh, one month. Several conditions lead to the state of hypoxic liver injury in critical illness. On the one hand, ischemia is a consequence of severe shock. Furthermore, passive venous congestion of the liver due to reduced cardiac function and acute cardiovascular impairment. Third, arterial hypoxemia is a consequence of acute and severe respiratory insufficiency. And finally, reduced oxygen extraction, like in states a septic shock, for instance. And all this multitude of factors leads to the typical histopathological pattern of hypoxic liver injury, um, central liver cell necrosis. Up to date, there is no causative treatment option in these patients. The only available therapy is the treatment of the underlying disease that contributes to occurrence and maintenance of hypoxic liver injury. Several experimental settings found that pretreatment with statins may ameliorate acute severe hepatic injury. Statins led to improvement of hepatic microcirculation and endothelial dysfunction, decreased hepatic and systemic inflammation states, and attenuates hepatic ischemia reperfusion injuries. However, there is still a lack of clinical data on its impact. Therefore, we assessed whether statins affect incidence, severity, outcome, and complications in critical patients concerning presence or absence of hypoxic liver injury. In a prospective cohort study, including three medical intensive care units, we assessed 851 critical patients prospectively. Out of these, 155 patients were on statins prior to ICU admission. Within 48 hours after ICU admission, 87 patients developed hypoxic hepatitis, representing 10% of the total cohort. Statin therapy prior to ICU admission was associated with a significantly reduced incidence of hypoxic hepatitis within 48 hours after admission to the intensive care unit. On the other hand, we were able to identify several risk factors which contributed to occurrence of hypoxic hepatitis. These were severity of disease, represented by an critical ill severity, established critical ill severity score, presence of septic shock, presence of cardiogenic shock, and pre-existent chronic alcohol abuse. The rate of complications following hypoxic hepatitis did not differ in patients that received statin therapy and those that did not receive statin therapy prior to ICU admission. Furthermore, ICU severe mortality rates were not statistically significant different in patients that received statins prior to occurrence of boxic hepatitis and those who did not receive statins prior to occurrence of boxic hepatitis. This may be a consequence of the low number of patients on statin treatment that developed hypoxic hepatitis. Statins were frequently considered as being potential hepatotoxic and therefore for a longer period of time they were not, administ not administrated in patients with hepatic disease. Our study demonstrated once again that statins are safe in critical ill patients and patients with hepatic impairment. Furthermore, patients with risk of new onset of hypoxic liver injury benefit from statins as the incidence rate of hypoxic liver injury is reduced in patients that have 
pre-treatment with statins. Patients without pre-existing statin therapy had more frequently only mild or moderate liver disease as assessed by Charles Convalidi Index. However, in our multivariate regression analysis, we were able to demonstrate that statins independently from severity of liver disease are an independent protective factor concerning occurrence of hypoxic liver injury. In summary, statins have a protective effect on occurrence of hypoxic liver injury in critical patients in the medical intensive care unit. Future studies should assess whether statins may also ameliorate the curse of already existent box liver injury in critical ill